What is going on, everybody? It's Dustin from Film It Studios. Man, that gets annoying. I'm over here making a brand new video, getting kind of a mohawkish, rocking my new hat. And I'm going to be making a video I have never really made before, so let's make it now. I'm going to be talking about things you really don't want to happen in your video. Because it can lead to a bad things you don't want in your video to lead to a, the highest quality video you can. For example, was that fan. That fan is going to mess with my audio. I used it for an example. So, you want your audio as perfect as it can get, or pretty damn near perfect. I don't know why I took the hat off. Pretty. You want your video sounding as perfect as it can be so the people watching it aren't going to turn it off and they're actually going to watch it i know this is kind of funny because a lot of these tips i'm going to tell you i realized i still did like audio you go back to almost every single one of my videos it's Okay, guys, I'm going to talk about a brand new video. Yeah. Far back. Not clear. I even did a, a book talk episode when I was sick. So the audio was... Jameson, uh, he uh, went to his bedroom. He put his dishes away. Oh, oh, wait. If you're sick... And you either need to take some kind of fucking medicine so you can talk clearly, which I should have done, or do a different kind of video, or don't do a video at all if you're sick. I realized Book Talk Episode 4, complete trash. Don't watch it. Even though I should be telling you to watch my videos, don't watch it. It is garbage. Straight up garbage. What you sh you'd be asking me? Why am I making fun of my own videos? Because it's garbage. See, guys, that was also another example. When making a video, you want to stay on topic. I like, for example, I'm talking about things you don't want to do in a video, and I'm off talking about how my other videos are garbage. That has nothing to do with this video. You want to stay on topic so you can deliver the point you're trying to get across to the fans, to people that clicked on the video. I was talking about how trash my videos were. When I should be talking about what I'm making this video for. So that was also another great example. Number three. When making a video, you don't want your camera... Damn, I hate when I accidentally turn my computer off. What I was going to say is your camera position. Like, for example, the sweatshirt that is hanging over right there. You, That's a no-no. You, you don't want anything, you know, like that. Trash. You want your camera to where you can see you and have your background kind of nice, kind of, you know, set up in a classic way so it looks nice. For me, happens to be a water bottle, a pan, blankets. Some of my crap right there. You can see a window that's kind of distracting. And we're going to be talking about lighting after this. You want your camera position. Fairly decent. Fairly decent. I could be pointing it at these shelves because, you know, there's games on the shelf. I was actually planning to. Okay. There, that's also a possibility. That also looks good. But now I'm further away because this laptop, I'm going to start recording my camera. 
this laptop doesn't record the best audio. I had to turn the TV off. Once again, got off topic. Another example. I already told you that, but your camera position position is very important. You want it to be pointed at you, not back, not blocking it. You want it to be to where it can see. You could have it like that. You want your camera position perfect. You know, zoom it in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. How about that? How about I finish the video like this, which I will. So, your camera position. How about right? I know I keep saying camera position and not really saying anything about the camera position. I have a camera position. Good. Moving on. When making a video, you want your lighting... You want your lighting good. You want to be able to see your face. You see how this side of my face is dark? You see how my natural light is that window? And a bright ass light right there across the room? You want your lighting... You don't want your surrounding dark. Kind of like how half of my face is dark. Right now, you can see... Excuse me, guys. What the fuck? You want your lighting? You want everything around you lit up? <sighs> you want your lighting fucking perfect so the viewer doesn't think you're a low ass trashy YouTuber who makes YouTube videos off of his laptop even though you have a perfectly good filming camera to make videos right next to you. Don't be that kind of YouTuber. Yes, I described myself. <laughs> See, my lighting is... See how my lighting is good now? There you go. So, let's talk. To wrap this up, things I talked about. Camera position. Needs to be fucking great. You don't want janky ass, you know, shit blocking it. You want it to be at your face. You have some surrounding. Two, your lighting. Needs to be great. I've said lighting and camera position a lot now. I'm getting kind of annoyed of it. And I'm getting annoyed of myself. Your camera position and lighting need to be great. What else did I talk about? Your surroundings? Sure, let's go with that. Your surroundings. Have it look nice. Don't have trash laying in your camera position. Set it again. Don't have trash laying around. Make your background for your viewer good. And if you're doing a 360 video, make sure you hide your illegal shit so they can go around. Uh, what else did I talk about? Sound. Audio. Don't do this. Hey guys. That's a no-no. You stay away from that. Don't do a video when you're sick. <sighs> Don't. <sighs> That's a no-no. You don't do that. Uh. I mean, honestly, if you forget what I said, just rewatch the video, please. I'm done talking to you.